emotions, sensations, and melodrama all on the small screen. A fluorescent bulb. Easy, 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 Albert, easy. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most ridiculous soap opera plot lines. For this list, we're looking at those soap opera storylines that are so ridiculous they make us laugh. These can include anything from melodramatic moments to completely unrealistic and outlandish scenes that make us cry, but not necessarily in the ways the soap opera is intended. <laughs> Number 10. Fallon is abducted by aliens, the Colbys. Sorry, I can hardly hear you. I said I need help. Hello? Hello? This series about an upper-class family served as a spin-off of the very popular soap opera Dynasty, although it did not reach the popularity its predecessor did. In the series finale, the character of Fallon gets stranded in the desert and is promptly abducted by what we're led to believe is a UFO. As the series was cancelled, this left fans with an enormous cliffhanger. Fallon later appeared in Dynasty for the show's last seasons, but instead of rewriting her experience to end the questions, they stuck with the ridiculous abduction story and kept fans scratching their heads. Jeff, I want to go home. First thing in the morning. No, I want to go home to Denver. You really mean that, don't you? Yes. Number 9. The Moldavian Massacre, or lack thereof, Dynasty. And what are you doing here, Yuri? My job, Your Highness. Keeping an eye on my comings and goings, no doubt, through the keyhole. As I see fit to do my job, Your Highness. At the end of its fifth season, Dynasty was in its heyday, as this season finale was watched by 60 million people and left an unforgettable impression on everyone. In the episode, two major characters are in the midst of getting married, when terrorists burst in and seemingly gun everyone down. They're gonna kill us! However, it wasn't until the season 6 premiere that we found out that only two minor characters actually died. Hello? Critics point to that disappointing revelation as the beginning of the series' decline, with many citing it as overly ridiculous and as evidence of the show being unwilling to take risks. This rich American is pretty. She won't be for long. <laughs> Number 8. Murder by Bear, The Bold and the Beautiful No! No! This soap opera follows the Forrester family and their fashion business, Forrester Creations. And if that sounds like a storyline that shouldn't have a place for a killer bear scene, then you wouldn't be far off. In this episode, Pamela is about to shoot her rival, Donna. After being interrupted by a knocking at the door, Pam instead knocks Donna out, ties her to a chair, and lathers her in honey in the hopes of enticing a nearby bear to eat her alive. <laughs> it sounds like something out of a slasher movie, but at least the elaborate and macabre ploy provided some good laughs. <laughs> Number 7. The Horny Gorilla, Ryan's Hope Now you come back from a Caribbean cruise, you've got your eyesight back, and all you want to do is come over here and fight with Pat. What is wrong with you? What the hell is going on? When your show starts to involve the idea of a horny gorilla, you know it's in trouble. Easy, 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 Albert, easy. This soap opera revolves around an Irish-American family in New York, which sounds normal enough, but it's not. In one of the show's most outrageous storylines, the character of Delia is kidnapped by a gorilla. And if that wasn't stupid enough, we find out it's because the gorilla yearned for a sexual companion. I thought he was gonna throw it for a second. If you'll just put it down, I think I can snake it out of there. We want to know what was going through the writers' heads at this time, as this story is inappropriate on nearly every level. 
Albert, Albert, calm down, calm down. You, you mustn't move around. Thanks. He hates this thing. It's the only way we've got. Number six, time traveling back to 1888, one life to live. We ain't got telephones in these parts, mister. Uh, we got a telegraph office now down the street. A show that runs every day for almost 45 years is bound to have some silly storylines, such as when various characters found themselves in the futuristic city of Eterna. But the 19th century time traveling took the cake. What is this place? What do you mean? It's a town! What do you think it is? Oh, there's no towns like this anymore. This soap emphasized the lives of the Lord family. But when Clint is shot in the head, the show de-emphasized the normal story and transported the character back to the Old West in 1888. You're never going to be nothing but a no-good gunslinger running after decent God-fearing people, and I don't understand it. If that wasn't enough, Vicky also traveled back to rescue him, ensuring the show's reputation as ridiculous and laughable. I was beginning to think that you're my great-granddaddy. I ain't got any damn son. Number five, Timmy, Passions. Timmy! That's right, Teletha. We're gonna win. To Passions' credit, it never tried to be realistic like other shows on this list. But Timmy is still inexcusable. The show follows the paranormal adventures of the residents of Harmony, but Timmy is no regular resident. He starts off as a doll made by resident witch Tabitha Lennox and is brought to life through her magical powers to wreak havoc on the town. While the show also featured an orangutan acting like a human, the doll turned devilish real boy was just a step too far into the outlandish, even for this daytime drama. Never say never, Tim Tim. Uh-oh. What are you thinking? Number four, it was all a dream, Dallas. You know, one of the things I love about you most is your sense of honor. This soap opera follows Bobby Ewing and Pamela Barnes, a married couple whose families are at odds with one another. In the season 8 finale, Dallas shocked viewers by killing off Bobby, only for him to return one season later. The reason given was that all of season 9 was a dream dreamt up by Pam. I can't sleep. If I do, I'll just keep seeing Bobby. This dream year caused understandable outrage, as an entire season's worth of progress was thrown out. What the hell's going on there? scenes, it was said that failing ratings is what caused them to seek Patrick Duffy's return. But really, couldn't they have integrated him back in a better way? Good morning. Number three, the Riva clone, Guiding Light. I'm not going anywhere. I belong here. This is my house. This show is the longest running television drama in history. But that doesn't mean its stories are anything special. In this storyline, Riva's husband believes her to have died in a plane crash, so he has her cloned. Josh Lewis, I'd like you to meet Riva Shane. If that wasn't enough, her clone turns out to be evil. And when the real Riva returns to Springfield, her clone tries to kill her and take over her life. Sorry to spoil your night, honey. The storyline sounds like a decent science fiction movie, but in a soap opera about a quiet Midwestern town, it is hilariously misplaced. I do have a heart. I love you, bud. You don't even know what that means. Josh, will leave her alone. I told her that we'd take care of her. Number two, General Hospital goes James Bond, General Hospital. You betrayed me!
GH has had its fair share of silly storylines over the years, including vampire doppelgangers and an alien posing as a human. But this Bond-esque story trumps them all. Nicholas Cassadine has always been a man of mystery, an enigma. He's the head of one of the most influential families in history, and yet his life is a secret. A man named Mikos needs a special diamond for his weather machine, and manufactures a blizzard in Port Charles to show the world a teaser of his larger plan of creating another ice age on Earth. Punching out the code. For what? Instructions to the computer to put Port Charles into a total freeze. It fits perfectly into a silly James Bond film, but not in a dramatic show about small town America. <coughs> Before we look at our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. If Patricia's that unsavory, I make a much better topic of conversation. It's... it's you! <laughs> Number one, Marlena's demonic possession, Days of Our Lives. Oh dear. <laughs> <I'm tied up. laughs> this show, about several separate families in the town of Salem, has had some ridiculous stories over the years, such as when Stefano was able to brainwash Hope through a mind control satellite. Bo and Hope, the perfect couple, until Stefano brainwashed Hope into thinking she was a woman named Gina. Yeah, we said brainwashed. But it's Marlena's demonic possession that is simply unforgivable. Hoping to ratchet up the drama, the writers decided it would be a good idea for Marlena to become possessed by the devil himself. Thanks to the masterminding of the ever-evil Stefano, of course. The cause isn't physical, John. Neither is the solution. I pray you step aside. Her possession gave her super strength, the ability to fly, and even the ability to turn into a panther. <laughs> Yeah, we don't know what they were thinking either. Look, it's over now. That's what the rain means. It's over. This whole terrible ordeal is over. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? I've given that considerable thought, but you appear to be quite docile now. What soap opera moment do you think is the most ridiculous? You won't like it, and you won't win. For more hilarious top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. It wasn't Don't wrong. Don't touch me. You stay away from me. You stay away.